Toaru Majutsu no Virtual One, or A Certain Magical Virtual One, is the long-awaited sequel to the arcade fighting action game series Virtual One. In the past, this series has been ported to consoles such as the Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Xbox, and PlayStation 2. The latest PS2 game was re-released for the PS3 via PSN, but aside from that, the series remained dormant until 2016, when the light novel Toaru Majutsu no Virtual One was released in Japan as a crossover between Sega and Dengeki Bunko. This light novel is a spin-off to a certain Magical Index series, taking place in a parallel universe. Most characters and developments are just the same as the original light novel series, but with the addition of a new super popular eSport, Virtual One. The Virtualoids in this crossover are not real robots. It seems like they are a combination of VR and AR technology, even though this is never explained fully. Nevertheless, pilots can still take damage from battles, because of the feed pain system, which links the pilot sensors to his Virtualoid. This game was released in Japan this year, back on February 15 for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita, with no plans for a Western release as of now. The story is a continuation of the light novel crossover, but it also resets most of the events in it. The game has many popular characters from the Index Universe. It also features a very complete and complex story mode. Each playable character has their own campaign, and all of the stories are serious and important to the main plot. Except for Kuroko. Regardless, everyone gets their moment in the spotlight, which is sure to please many fans of the series. The story in this game had no business being this good, since it's not what you would expect from a licensed game or neither from a crossover. But both the light novel and this game were written by Kazuma Kamachi, the author of the original series. So, if you are a fan of a certain magical index, you can expect the story to be at the same level as the original series. If you don't care about this light novel series, but if you are still a fan of the Virtual One games, don't let these cute anime characters deceive you. This is still a full-fledged Virtual One title true and true. The gameplay was not dumbed down in the slightest. You still have many maneuver abilities, such as super jumps, jump cancels, air dash, and a multi-direction dash, which can be combined with many special attacks. New to the series are the super attacks, which represent the pilot's special abilities. They are very powerful, but can still be fairly avoided. The gameplay is fast and filled with variety, as each Virtualoid plays very differently from one another, and all the arenas have obstacles that can be used as platforms or to take cover. There is also a new point system, which gives you a certain amount of points depending on how you knock your opponent out. He will respawn shortly after, the battle will continue until the time is over, and the winner will be the one with the most points. Which kind of feels a little like Super Smash Bros. But you can also select different rules for each battle. As far as modern video game graphics go, Toaru Majutsu no Virtual One is not all that impressive. It kinda looks like a Dreamcast game, which may be a plus for some people. Nonetheless, it doesn't look all that bad either, and it manages to keep a decent frame rate in both platforms. The illustrations are made by Katoki Hajime, who is also the mecha designer, and a really good one at that, but he chose to use a more simplistic style for the human characters. It still looks good, nonetheless. During the story mode, the illustrations are animated by Emote, which doesn't look too bad, but I would rather have some CGs instead of that, 
to give more details for the important events, which would make them more exciting to watch. Good, the soundtrack was composed by Yuzu Freaking Koshiro. So, of course, it's freaking great. Especially because the music was not automatically composed by a computer this time. The story mode is fully voiced. And the voice acting is really good. It made me care for those characters even more. The cast of the anime adaptation are reprising their roles, and some characters who previously only appeared on the light novels are getting voiced for the first time, which will attract even more fans. Since there are no plans for a localization, if you want to play the Japanese version of this game right now, I recommend at least Grade 2 in Japanese, because there is a lot of complicated techno-bubble, pseudoscience and mysticism in the story, as you might expect from the Index series. However, you don't need to understand Japanese in order to enjoy the combat mechanics. I'm sure this game will please fans of a certain Magical Index series, as well as fans of the Virtual One series. And that's because, before everything else, this game has a really fun and complex gameplay. So, if you want to play a game with cool battle max, give it a try. And that's it for this review. But if you still have any more questions about Toaru Majutsu no Virtual One, or if you have suggestions for future reviews, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye. Tangram是这个世界的一部分，不是单独的世界。無数の世界を丸ごと入れ替え、操る。スケールが一段違うのです。<笑>